Assalamualaikum Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Hello guys welcome to the Daru Education Project video tutorial series for the JQuery and in this session we are going to learn the form selectors you can use form selectors to deal with the form elements they work like other selectors but they always start with the colon as a regular filter so here are some important uh, form elements like input finds all input select text area and button elements next one is the text and it hold finds all text elements passwords uh, finds all password elements radio finds all radio elements and uh, radio buttons checkbox finds all checkbox elements submit finds all submit elements reset and uh, image on the button and finds them like files performs additional filtering for form elements such as whether enabled disabled uh, selected checked etc enables matches all form elements that are enabled and disabled matches all form elements that are disabled and checked matches all form elements that are checked and uh, like radio boxes and etc and selected matches all form elements that are selected so let's start up a program and uh, make uh, something like this a control and save this as a form selector okay okay form selectors selectors and uh, in this uh, after title we are going to add the script file for the jQuery and add the jQuery here after that we are adding a script type JavaScript and here we will write the form selectors coding in the jQuery okay uh, I am going to make a, a registration form and uh, make a form element method is equal to something like post and close this form element and uh, okay uh, I think we need to add a table here the uh, table row and in this I am going to make td and the name something like this and td input type is equal to text okay closing this td and after that this tr is here so just go and watch the output just like this okay we have created a form and now we are just adding some more elements I'm going to add name make it first name last name and address something like this uh, we are adding uh, one more element like gender input type is equal to uh, radio and make it mail and I'm creating another one control C basically we are creating a form which includes uh, different kind of form elements so that's why I'm making such kind of things okay we have male and female and next one is the hobbies okay and uh, okay sorry 
I'm complete this one. Control C, Control V, and gender. I'm going to hobbies. Input type is equal to checkbox. Uh, reading. Swimming. Swimming. And uh, let's see. We are making a swimming, reading, music, and something like dancing. We create another tag and that was uh, hobbies and uh, one more area and tr and uh, 3d uh, information you can say information and here we will create a text area text area name from info and uh, just creating it like this. Okay. Now refresh this page, and have we have some more elements of form. Okay. And now we are going to add one more element. Tr. Tt. And this one the tr. We are creating upload image Not image and the type of input is file file okay and the next one we are going to add um, input type is equal to input type is equal to submit this one and input type is equal to remove this text area and make input type is equal to reset okay so we always almost finish our form elements and this will be the look of our form Okay, we have a choose file, we have submit, reset buttons, we have text areas and uh, some form elements are there. Now we are going uh, to write the code for the jQuery and we use document dot ready and in this tag we are just started how to uh, how to find the different form elements in our documents okay we we will start with this one uh, dollar sign and after this dollar sign we are going to write the form here this one with the form and we will use dot sign the two columns and the after two columns we uh, use input this will give as in our uh, as we told you in our presentation now uh, before or after whatever you want before you should write uh, uh, fields I want to doors um, whatever you want to write and just go for that now we will refresh this page and now we will see okay now you can see that in front of every text field or radio button or even a text area or buttons we have a value of dots this way the whole document form elements was selected as we told you in our uh, presentation that input will find all inputs like text area and button elements so if you want to change them and add something different then you can change uh, CSS for example and change uh, back color 
color and change the color of them whatever you want then just refresh it and you can see the colors were changed since you cannot see that but you can see that the input color was changed okay so when you see that you can see that the writing colors of every one was changed so in this way you can perform the task on the uh, form elements and similarly we are going to find some more work here and I am going to use a form and if I want to know uh, the only thing which I want to know is the text area and I just need to find the text here okay dot CSS okay this will not have here CSS and here I will use background color and make a change okay now we will go and refresh this page and see what will happen okay now you can see that the background color of the text areas was only changed and similarly if we want to make the application and uh, the next one and that was form and the next one is the radio dot css or whatever css font family and uh, change into consolas okay now we will refresh this and see what will happen okay since this was the writing color and the font um, font size i think we need to change the property of font or whether we can after write something uh, check out what I do okay now you can see that check out male check out female in this way we can find the same thing uh, for the form and the checkbox says here okay, dot before hello whatever you can see that you can select that elements and the values are showing hello and similar way. so in this way you can work with the form selectors thank you very much for watching this tutorials and allow